Hello, buddy mortgage professionals. This is Christina Talkington, head of compliance for My Mortgage Trainer. And today we're going to cover how to obtain your NMLS ID number. As you are new to the industry, you may not even know what an NMLS ID number is. Not to confuse you any further, but this number is also referred to as your NMLS unique identifier or even your NMLS ID. Regardless of the semantics, the number is an important part of your journey to becoming licensed. So what exactly is an NMLS ID number? The NMLS identification number is the unique identifier that a mortgage loan originator receives upon registration with the NMLS. They keep this number throughout their entire career. The SAFE Act of 2008 requires that residential mortgage loan originators register with the NMLS, which is a database created by the Conference of State Bank Supervisors and the American Association of Residential Mortgage Regulators. Think of this number as kind of a social security number within the mortgage industry. It is used to track LO's histories and qualifications through the NMLS's com consumer access. It is also used when scheduling your test and by course providers to report your education. First, you will need to create your account with the NMLS. You do this by visiting the NMLS Resource Center, which we will link to in the comments section. Click the Log into NMLS button in the upper right hand corner and click the Request an Account link. Next, click the Individual button. Retype the security letter and number shown on the screen in the space provided and click the Next button. Complete all of the fields with your information and then create an individual user account screen and then click the Next button. One key thing to remember here, be sure you have entered entered in your full legal name as it shows on your government issued ID and an email address that is readily accessible. Next, you will confirm the individual account information. If it's correct, click the finish button. If it's incorrect, click the previous button and correct any information. It is extremely important to be sure you enter your social security number and date of birth correctly. You cannot edit your date of birth and social security number once your record is created without contacting the NMLS call center. After completing the process, you will receive two emails from the NMLS. The first contains your username and the second contains your temporary password. Upon receiving your username and temporary password, log into the NMLS by typing in your username and cutting and pasting your temporary password from the email in the login page of the NMLS. Once you have gained access to the NMLS for the first time, you'll be prompted to change your password. After you've done this, you'll be in your account. Click the Composite View tab at the top right hand corner of the screen. Then click View Individual, which is located at the top middle of the screen. Your NMLS ID number will be shown next to the heading Individual ID. We hope that you found this information useful and are feeling generous enough to give this post a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook. Stay on the lookout for future Compliance Corner videos.